is a pillar of filth. There's now Flandre very low on mana, but he's trying to solo out Koro here. Couple more auto attacks. Oh. Beast flashes forward after the pounce and just takes him down. Beautiful play for first blood. Beast is just yeah. Spear pest. gonna land so easily. Beast picks up his second kill, and Koro's just getting camped. What a better time than at a dragon. Yeah, well, 2,000 gold in the lead, Snake. They are going to be able to secure the first dragon of the game. Ten minutes almost exactly here. There's EDG. Just let that one happen. Beast going to get caught by the Dark Binding here as well. Soul Shackles is actually going to go off. Mako looking to try and find something. as very, very oh. nice chompers and the weaving of the rocket. Oh, my goodness. Definitely on the siege, not the hyper carry that you're talking about that has oh, the... Oh, Beast flashing for it. Oh, oh takedown no. doesn't quite get it. Did he cancel he it? He healed. Oh, beautiful. Koro going to really... He's going to do his job by just pressing R on Flandre. As there's the Righteous Glory. Flandre going super aggressive now as Beast. He's back yet again. The takedown doing some work. Pounce still locking down the damage. And Beast, that's his third kill. And the third one on to Koro as well. Initiate straight away before any poke could actually come down. And now it's going to be started off. Clear Love and Deft have already got it down to about half health, but Snake, they don't want to give this one up without a fight. They're trying to take down as much as they can. There's the Righteous Glory. Beautiful Dark Binding, though, as Mako is going to be able to stop that engage. Take a free turret from full to nothing as Mako hits another one. Yeah, another binding. Look at the auto attacks there as wow. well. Deft actually flashes over, picks up the kill on the beast to clear love. Very, very low now. Is the Empress Divide going to be used just to try and get Flandre out of that fight? A lot of low members of EDG, but look at the damage. Koro finds his way in the back line as well. And with the Subjugate soaking up so much of this damage. Clipping the end oh, of Maokai as well. you could pick up a quadra kill here. There's no ult. He just used it earlier. Yeah. Oh, tries to steal it away, but doesn't quite get there. In fact, Bouncing Bomb's not quite finding the targets they were looking for as well. This time wasting. They needed to give it a go at the very least. There's still the possibility that Snake can do something, but at the moment, they're starting to get bled out. Deft is doing a lot of damage to oh, these turrets. The spell, the spell shield, the Morgana Black Shield. If they continue this siege up with the Baron minions, it's going to be very hard for Snake to come back into this game if they manage to break the base, and they're going for it. Yeah, and you can see Bami as well, just able to zone away with these Sand Soldiers. Snake looking to try and get in there, but look at the Pillar of Ice, just stopping it in its tracks completely. Azir, even the Siveralt while I'm going, and the Black Shield, they're yeah, going to be well, able to Yeah, well, speaking of Siveralt, you with a decent alley-oop of some minefields there as Def goes very aggressive onto Ella, but it is going to cause what they were looking for. The inhibitor's going to fall down. Lots of damage with that Mega Inferno Bomb as Bami's trying to get out of there. Martin has used the ultimate already, but... Beast might be in trouble. Seraph's shield is going to be used there, but Koro, you can see, doesn't take any damage now. And Deft the heals up over that one. Koro going down relatively low. Martin kiting this one out. Ella, he healed back up, and it is just going to be Koro sacrificing himself for that one. But Flandre, he did manage to pick up the kill onto the Morgana there. This very, very tanky Maokai trying to do some work. Deft gets exploded. Martin with so much damage, but the double kill immediately responded by Bami there with one auto attack from these Sand Soldiers. So I guess in that regard, it worked out really well for Snake. They've picked up a fourth dragon now. You can see you as well actually used that heal, Deft. Going to pop the ultimate now as well as Flandre. The super tank is going to go down super low. He's dead as Bami locks down that kill. And Snake have lost their one super tank without Koro even being there. He's going to take down the bottom inhibitor turret as well. EDG just systematically removing objectives off the map. Mako just going to tank up the spear because he just doesn't care at this stage. And second inhibitor going to fall down. That's in the bottom lane. EDG, Baron on a silver platter if they want it. But they may just push in because Bami... Reckon people on this Azir. His Azir player has been fantastic. Top lane inhibitor turret, it's going to fall down. Spear going to pick the gap in between these EDG members. Third inhibitor falls. And look, Snake just don't look like they can play this controlled poke style game. There's a down. If they don't get this Baron, it's going to be game over for them. Yep, the desperation Baron play here as you has to use his Satchel Charge to get him over the wall. There's the Emperor's Divide just going to stop this fight from moving in a position that they want to, but that's going to be Jinx falling down first. Bad news for Snake here as EDG turning it on. And, oh my goodness, Flandre tanking up Deft forever. He's just going to systematically move throughout this team, rip people apart, not to mention Bami as well, is just doing so much work. Inhibitor in the mid lane is going to fall, uh, respawn. 
for Snake, but EDG now with everyone dead on the side of Snake, apart from Beast and you. EDG just going to move forward with the Super Creeps and possibly just end this game. Well, they don't need the Baron. They've got the advantage of about three members right now, except Mako, who just conveniently goes down to a spear. But it seems to me as though <laughs> there's no way for them to stop this push right now. EDG looking exceptionally strong in their objective control and slow-paced gameplay which is not really akin to what you're used, for, used to seeing from them. You yep. like the team fights that Edward Gaming put through, and they've just dismantled Snake. Yeah, cool, calm, and collected, and Snake 